Hello, EBF family. I hope you're all doing well. These are indeed challenging times, and we are in a position of needing to make some very difficult decisions, like the decision that we made to cancel all gatherings and services for the time being. To be clear, though, the church is not canceled because of the coronavirus. I mean, no virus is powerful enough to do that. The church has been and always will be the people. It's not about the building or where we meet. The worst that has been done is that our weekly gatherings have been canceled out of an abundance of caution for those in our congregation that are at a higher risk of being infected with this nasty virus. I'd like to encourage you during these times to dig deep into your faith and find new and creative ways to express your faith towards God by reaching out to your neighbors. Get to know their names and find out if there are any needs that they have. And if, if there are needs that, that they have that you find that you're able to meet, then by all means do so. But if you find that they have a need that is greater that you can manage on your own, please don't hesitate to contact me and so that we can figure out what to do that, you know, to support them uh, as a church body. I want to remind you through this time that you are not alone, that we are in this together, and that God is with you, and that he is providing for your every need. Psalm 46.1 reminds us that God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. And Hebrews 13.8 reminds us that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Even though circumstances change, our God does not Throughout this time that we're not going to be able to meet together, we here at EBF are going to do our best to be in regular contact with you. Now more than ever, we need to find ways to encourage each other in our faith. We are here to help you to continue to grow in your walk with Jesus and in your faithfulness towards him. If you have a need, please don't wait for a phone call or an email. Please reach out to us so that we can be aware of your need and then do what we can to help you with it. We are here for you. Over the past week, I've sent out a couple of emails to keep you up to speed with the decisions that we've been making and why. We're going to continue to keep you informed as this situation continues to develop. We're going to be posting our updates on our website and sending them out through email on our Facebook page. And so during this time, I just would encourage you to make full use of the tools that we provide that will help you grow, uh, continue to grow in your faith. I'd encourage you to get familiar with our website, eastgatebible.net. On our website, you can check out our prayer wall where you can, you can submit prayer requests that you have and you can also pray uh, for prayer requests that have been submitted already. Um, I encourage you to watch and listen to sermons. You can get updates on our missionaries and you can also take care of giving online through our website. You can also download our church app, which is available on both, you know, for both Apple and Google devices. Uh, the church app, you can do all of those things that are available through our website, but specifically um, through your mobile device. And then also I would encourage you to check out rightnowmedia.org. Rightnowmedia.org is like, it's a vast Netflix style library of Bible study and other resources that will help you grow in your faith. Let me know if you don't have an account uh, for that, for Right Now Media, uh, I can help you get set up for that. That is a resource that we provide for every uh, member of our church. Uh, we will we will continue to keep you up to date with emails and phone calls so that we can stay connected throughout this unusual time. To be sure, our schedules have been impacted, and there are many challenges that are being confronted throughout this time. But we who have put our faith in Jesus, let us never forget that we should not live as those who do not have hope. We continue to believe that our great God is the sovereign ruler of all creation and of our very lives. He is present with us even in the midst of fiery trials. Let us hold fast to the confidence that we have because of the hope that we have in Jesus who has overcome the grave. In closing, I just want to let you know that I'm going to be recording my sermons and making them available at 10 a.m. on Sunday mornings. I invite you to watch them and, you know, watch them together with your family, share them with your friends, discuss them, 
And uh, it's just my hope that we continue to grow throughout this time, that we find new and creative ways to express this faith that we hold in Jesus Christ. To Him be the glory, now and forever. Amen. I hope you have a great day. God bless, and let us know if there's anything that we can do to be helping you through this time. Bye for now.